Hey, and welcome back to St. John's County real estate market stats and a lot of cool things happening here in St. John's County. Uh, a lot of things expected, some things maybe not expected. Let's go ahead, move forward, and we're just going to breeze through these really quick and get a sense of how things look in the real estate market here in St. John's County. And this is looking specifically at July of 2023. Interesting to look at this. We're actually up year over year, 4.5% when we look at the median sales price. That said, if we jump down here and look at the price per foot, we're at 252, we're up from last month, but we're actually down year over year. So this tells me that maybe some larger homes, maybe some pool homes, things like that have been selling. So the total price is up. But when you're looking at a price per foot, we're down a little bit, but it's pretty flat from last year. And remember this time last year, the wheels had just come off the market. Things were just starting to feel like a bit of a crash. And all the way through September, October, things were declining into November. But December, January, February, March, things started climbing again. And the reason for that, in my opinion, is right here, we still have very limited inventory. Inventory is low. So we don't have enough supply of houses to feed the demand that buyers have for houses right now. Just looking through that really quick, let's take a look at this. There were 489 closed sales. And again, it's pretty flat compared to the same time last year. Although this time last year, we had slowed down as well from the year previous. So looking two years back, it's pretty good slowdown as far as how many deals were actually closing in July. July is the end of our mad buying frenzy as people are trying to get in in time for school. St. John's County is the top school district here in Florida. And so we get a lot, a lot, a lot of people trying to buy homes and close before, in this case, August 10th, before school starts. Let's just skip down here, new pendings were way up. We had fewer homes closing, but we actually had a lot of new deals compared to last year. Again, last year, this time of year, things had started to slide. This year, we're up 40% over the new handshakes right here. The uh, new deals, the new pendings that we had from last year, we're up 40% and even 10.5% from last month. Looking at new inventory coming on the market, Again, we're up significantly from July of last year, but we've slid 10% from last month. But all that to say, looking at this, I have to say the market still looks very, very healthy. It is factually still a seller's market. So even though rates are high compared to the last few years, buyers are still out there. Buyers are going to buy and sellers are going to sell. The important thing right now as a buyer to, is to make sure that you're fully aware of all the incentives and all the deals going on with the builders. And then either if they're not buying a new build, leveraging those against the resale sellers out there. And then on the sales side, it's actually super handy to know what the builders are doing. If you're in a neighborhood with a lot of building going on, we really have to adjust for that in the pricing or have some little tricks up our sleeve so that we can make it super attractive for buyers when they're comparing apples and apples. And as always, and super, super important for you sellers out there, if people are selling new homes in your neighborhood, if there's builders selling in your neighborhood, you need to stage like a model because where are people going? Buyers are going to look at model homes and then they're coming to look at your home and they're gonna get incentives from the builders and maybe they get to add some things and tweak some things. So we need to combat that. And a lot of that happens in the staging process. Happy to help you with any of that kind of thing. Feel free to give me a call, a text, a smoke signal. If you're in St. John's County, if you're in Jacksonville area, even Clay or Nassau, I have partners that can help you out there as well. We've got a big, big team. We're the number one large team by Real Trends here in Northeast Florida. So reach out. And uh, happy to help you and answer any other questions that you might have. But yeah, really quick, please subscribe to the channel. And that way, when I've got more info coming out or uh, special things that are going on here in St. John's or whatever's happening, you don't have to be left out. You can find out first and feel free to leave a comment as well and ask a question or uh, just tell me that you hate my content, whatever. I try to respond to 
every single comment I get. So subscribe and comment and all that good stuff. And we will see you guys around St. John's County, Florida.